IGA Meals and Minutes with Courtney Wise. Hi everyone, guess what? It's blueberry season, I'm so excited. I literally eat them every morning. And, and look at all these gorgeous blueberries. With me, we have Larry Martin. He is the president of the Kentucky Blueberry Growers Association. So I get to ask him all these questions about mm. blueberries. Well, first of all, let's take a close up of them because these are some of the prettiest ones they were just I've ever seen. On my farm today. today? Or yes, yesterday, some of them, yes. Okay, well, why don't you tell me a little bit about the blueberry uh, growing season? We're in the peak right now. Am I correct in saying that? We are. It starts about June 1st and it okay. goes to about the 4th of July weekend and we're in the prime of our season now, the biggest, best berries. We're getting lots of rain uh -huh. and that's getting them a nice big plump size and extra okay. sweet. So we're right into the season. We've got them in all the Houchins and IGA grocery stores locally here in Bowling Green and everywhere in the area. And uh, yeah, we're, we're, we've got probably 20 people back at the farm picking right now. and. And, and we're right in the middle of our season. Okay, now I was asking earlier, uh, we had a lot of rain this spring, mm -hmm. so I didn't know if that helped or hindered your uh, crop, and clearly these are gorgeous, so it was good for you. It was very good. Blueberries are in the same family as cranberries. They, they don't like quite as much water as cranberries, but they do very well with, with a lot of rain. It gets them extra big and extra sweet. Okay, well why don't you give us the tip like you did earlier. Um, there's kind of a what is it, the white yeah, on, a, on a blueberry, if they can see a close-up of them there, there's a, a kind of a, a white powdery look to it that's right. a natural wax and that that keeps the berry extra fresh so we like to freeze them just as they come off the bush and and that way though that natural wax will keep them extra fresh and it'll it'll allow you to take them out like individual marbles almost so you can just scoop some out for your cereal in the morning or mm -hmm. something and and the rest will stay fresh and and we like to just rinse them off before we use them then uh, they'll come out better than if you if you wash them first then then they're going to come out a little bit more soggy like and, and okay. they're better fresh like this so almost rinse fresh. them as you use them as you not use them. like the whole box and do you like how i put my hand in here so i could take this whole box home they're they're, they're yours <laughs> if you want them hey we're gonna we're plan. gonna give these away today in the studio so. i'm just kidding no i do love blueberries and you know they're so good for you oh big health benefits they they're really high in antioxidants you know they're good for a lot of different mm -hmm. different illnesses actually and and um supposed to be good brain food, it's good yes. for Alzheimer's, all kinds of health benefits. Everything, and rice. and I think that they're good just to stick in a baggie with some nuts in there. You have a healthy snack, you know, going to work or whatever. Yes. Uh, right now, these little pints are at um, IGA and Houchin stores, right? They sure are, But you yes. also do sell them by this big box? We do have five and 10 pound boxes out at the okay. farm or, or, or we've, you know, I represent uh, over 160 members in our association, uh, Kentucky Blueberry Growers. And we, we mostly sell them in five and 10 pound boxes at the farm and then in the stores, mostly in pint containers. And if you're like me, you like to make, you know, blueberry cobbler or, or whatever, blueberry mm -hmm. pie, I mean, really anything you want to. So get a big box and that way you can bake with it. You get a better deal. You get more berries and, and they're fresh right from the farm and it's, it's all growing here in Kentucky. They're, yes. they're, they're, they're excellent. Well, and I was going to say, I think people are really trying to look local for some, especially mm -hmm. their fresh produce. So have yeah. you seen a trend in that being a part? Absolutely. We, you know, we, on our boxes, we have the, the map of Kentucky know, and so we've cute. got the Kentucky proud on all the, all the packaging where we're strictly Kentucky grown. And that, that is important. It, it, it allows, allows us extra sales and people, like you say, are looking for uh, locally grown produce. Yeah, that way they know where it's coming from. I mean, literally right up the road. I mean, how, yep, how awesome exactly. is that that we know, now we know you. So we're talking blueberries here on the IGA Meal Kitchen set. Um, just because they're fresh right now and we're really in the peak of the season doesn't mean you can't enjoy them throughout the winter, right? So you can freeze, you can just buy a big box of them and freeze them for maybe oatmeal or something in the winter time. Sure thing, absolutely. Okay, so you can do anything you want. And how long do they keep fresh in the refrigerator? Well, we have a fresh picked blueberry, you know, just a day or two off the bush, you can keep them about two weeks in the fridge and they, they're still just like, almost like fresh completely. If it's down around 34 degrees or so, okay. they'll keep for two weeks in the fridge. And remember to not rinse them until you really need them because until that you way you don't want them, them to start to shrivel or, or... Exactly, otherwise they'll absorb water and they'll get kind of mushy a little bit. Okay. And this way they stay crisp and fresh. Well, let's talk about celebrating the blueberry season. What is going on this weekend? Well, we've got the big blueberry festival this weekend. We've got magicians and clowns and dancers and singers and bands playing and, and it's all happening in downtown Edmonton at the town square and we're going to have our mascot which you're going to talk about I think in well a we can pop and, him up if you want to and, and, check and, it out 
and just there he is. Yeah, he's he's just he is incredible. He's the best blueberry I know. Yep, I he'll love be at it. the festival too. Okay, so you have to come out and meet Mr. Blueberry Man. There's or free woman. admission. Every everybody's welcome. It's just downtown Edmonton at the Town Square Friday and Saturday. Okay, what time? You know, actually, we start the blueberry pancake breakfast at seven in the morning. I'll be out there with the rest you. of the okay. growers flipping blueberry pancakes. And, Yum! And so there's pa pancakes each day. That we've got. Free blueberry milkshakes a couple hours on Friday. Milkshakes. There's all kinds of things going on. What yeah. a great idea. And it's hot outside, so you want something cold to drink. What other yep. kind of goodies do you guys have? Boy, all kinds of stuff going on. There's We've had everything from blacksmiths to people making homemade ice cream down there. Lots of arts and crafts and different vendors set up. So it's a fun time for everybody. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Yeah. And again, just celebrating the blueberry season. And if you can't make it out this weekend, stop by IGA or Houchins and grab a pint of these blueberries and say thanks to the Kentucky Blueberries Association. Thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing your blueberries. Again, I'm taking this box home. So Thank you for my having me. You <laughs> pass these out to everybody in the studio. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll see you next week, everyone. Uh -huh. Go to WBKO.com slash midday for IGA Crossroads locations.